Money World El mundo quiere dinero Money World Se arregla con dinero Money World Si me quiero educar eh, Dormir en algún lugar Un lugar para trabajar eh, Y si no hay para emigrar todo money, money, todo el dinero Solo un par de gente se lleva el putín entero Funny, funny, pasa verdadero Si tienen la verde siempre llegará primero Pero llegaremos antes o después Solo a lo suyo, que Dios te lo ve Que por más que tarde lo veré caer Somos malos buenos y tenemos que ver el dinero Ya lo veré, yo vendo mi alma, lo lograré Seré el más grande, no olvidaré De dónde vengo ni cómo voy Money work Money world. Yo digo las cosas como son No sí. quiero ninguna, ninguna aceptación Tampoco vengo a pedir perdón Porque mis sentimientos se volvieron la canción yeah. No me vale mucho como tú me ves Sabes tú me llegas solo a los pies Para mí ser grande es un interés Ser un buen humano para mí es un deber El dinero ya lo veré No vendo mi alma, lo lograré Seré el más grande, no olvidaré De dónde vengo ni cómo voy Money world. Money work. De corazón, de corazón La plata no te hace ser feliz yeah, yeah, De corazón, de corazón yeah, yeah. La plata no te hace ser feliz Money work. El mundo quiere dinero Lunático
nothing can stop me Cause I'm addicted to what you and I Training Day? The movie Training Day. And uh, Ethan Hawke played Officer Hoyt. 
And Denzel came through with Alonzo. And he said, what? All right, Hoyt, you got today and today only to show me who and what you're made for. Training day. He had to get in there and show and prove one day whether or not he was cut to be in Alonzo's unit. Now, here's the thing. I'm putting cases on all y'all. But here's the thing I thought about. Just like many of us guys whose parents, our mothers, and our families did the best they could, we weren't raised with dads. So we had to get out here, stumble, fail, try, and become better. We had to train ourselves to become the men we are, and we still ain't perfect. We're just better than we were. But often it comes up talking about, you know, two-parent households. Long and short of it, the question is, ladies, would you be willing to go through training? Training. Like if, if instead of, let's say you meet Mr. High Value, Mr. Mr. Keith Henry, because I have, you're going to want to, you're going to want to tune into tomorrow's uh, live stream on YouTube, because we're going to talk about the women men want. The women men want, the, the women that are desired and in demand. Here's the thing, just like the men you ladies want aren't, uh, they're special, they're, they're rare, but they're not special. They had to be made. A lot of you ladies may have the, the basic stuff, but somebody has to train you. Shaq, he was a freak of nature, but he needed training. LeBron, everyone needs training. And I think it would be the height of arrogance for women today to think that they don't need to be trained. That's why I ask, were you raised to be a wife? So my question to the women who are, there are two kinds of women. There are women who want to get on a man's program and there are women who are those independent uh, partnership later on, the ones I talked about yesterday. Hey, no heat, no judgment, do your thing. But I'm talking to the women that really want to have a different outcome. Training day. Today is your training day. Uh, LeBron didn't need training. You're a goddamn lie. Spoken like somebody who does not know how to do anything worth a damn. Spoken like somebody who doesn't know how to do a damn thing. If you understand that you don't become an elite level athlete just out of the womb. So, here's what we're going to do with this. Here's what we're going to do with this. Ladies, training day. Just like Hoyt went through training, and then he had to actually impress Alonzo, let's assume the training you had is what it is. Would you be willing to go into training for the kind of man you want? If Let's just say, let's just say I'm his spokesperson. I'm not that dude, right? I'm not that dude you want. I ain't shit, right? Fuck me, Kevin ain't all that. Okay, cool. All right, cool. But Keith Henry right here is, Blake Henry, Bradley, a man, Keith, and Enrique, the Henrys, the White Collar Henry, the Blue Henrys, the Hit Squad, these dudes right here. I'm their spokesperson, right? So if I'm, as their spokesperson, I said, look, I represent these guys. And these guys are willing to take you on. But you got 30 days. You don't have a training day. You got a training month. You got 30 days to show and prove that you deserve to be taken seriously. 30 days, not one day, because anybody, anybody can mess up a date. You can have a bad day. You could be off your game. The gerbil could have died. Your parakeet could have flew away with an eagle. I mean, you know, <laughs> anything could have happened. So it ain't just one date. It ain't just two dates. You got 30 days to show, to prove that you deserve everything that women say they want. I mean, you want two to three kids, right? You don't want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant and married with your first child, right? You don't want to have to pay more than 20% of the overall family financial load, right? That's what most women say they want. Cool. Well, where do you get an NBA championship, Super Bowl ring, or whatever, Stanley Cup, or any other trophies just because you're an elite athlete? Usain Bolt had to have training. He had to have training. He also had to have nutrition. He had to have it all. 
And what better person to train for, what better person to train you other than the man or the kind of man you say you want? Training day. Are you willing to go into training? Because many of you ladies I've said, hey, quit your full, stop working your full time to go work part time for your man. Tomorrow we're going to talk about the women men desire. And it's not what a lot of you ladies think. You think men desire women who are like y'all. Y'all describe a man who's educated, smart, funny, intelligent, good looking, physically fit. Da -da 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 and you'll say a man wants all that. And you know what a man wants? I'll show you tomorrow. Not the women you think, the, the women that men desire. Like high value men, women men want. Self awareness, separation, balance. The women men want are different than a lot of the women you see. Uh, well, you know, there are a lot of beautiful women on Instagram. A lot of beautiful women. But I'm going to tell you, men may desire those women, but the, the women they want are quite, tend to be quite the opposite. But I want to get more into that in long form. But at the end of the day, let's just assume for the sake of this conversation, you are the kind of woman, the kind of man that you want, wants. You still got to be trained. You still got to go into training. If you're a Laker, there's Lakers culture. If there's a Celtic, there's Celtics culture. If you're a Dallas Cowboy, there's Cowboy culture. Every organization in a sport has their own culture. They have their own offense, their own defense, their own way to go to market. Let's talk about it. Are you willing to go into training? And here's the thing. This is where a lot of you ladies, if you're not willing to go into training, then go ahead and just, just go and assume you're going to be by yourself. Because you, many women today, got to admit, they want, you want men to marry you based upon potential. You want a guy to marry you, and then after you're married, you might think about cooperating and submitting. So let's get to it. Ladies. Say what's wrong or right no. It's not hard to fool me no. Cause I'm addicted to the good life Yeah, yeah. Lead the way I follow No need to say no. Where we are heading now, babe I follow Money work. Yo digo la cosa. 
cosas como son No quiero ninguna, ninguna aceptación Tampoco vengo a pedir perdón Porque mis sentimientos se volvieron la canción yeah. No me vale mucho como tú me ves Sabes tú me llegas solo a los pies Para mí ser grande es un interés Ser un buen humano para mí es un deber El dinero ya lo veré No vendo mi alma, lo lograré Seré el más grande, no olvidaré De dónde vengo ni cómo voy Money work. Money de corazón, de corazón La plata no te hace ser feliz Ella de corazón, de corazón La plata no te hace ser feliz Money work El mundo quiere dinero Lunático Like I feel like I'm pretty stable. Okay. Um and um I have I haven't had great success in relationships either. Okay. So let's go for it. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I think I might be too independent. I think my dad has raised me to be like that. Okay. So I'm a homeowner. I'm in a doctorate mm -hmm. program right now. Okay. Um, I think that's difficult for a lot of people. How old are you? 36. Okay. So yes, homo it's like one of the things that is difficult is why so many women, Western women have delayed marriage. Anything that you've done could you not have done it while you were married to a man? I think dance specifically, it's a little tricky to do that when you have kids. You're giving up something, right? So you see even celebrities that are dancers like J-Lo, right? They're not yeah, having well, kids. Dance in particular, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's a sacrifice. I have to completely put anything that I want to do on hold. So how far do I want to get along the the dating and the marriage line if um, I'm not prepared to like have kids right then because that's now, an expectation, right? Well, it's like, first thing I think about is Las Vegas and New York. How did women 40 years ago navigate these things? Showgirls dancing on Broadway, how they navigate still having families? That's a good question. I don't think I have that answer. But they did though, right? Because those women were not yeah, they did. all, huh? I mean, I, I said, mean, yeah, they did. Right. So if they could do it, that would be a template. That's what I mean. Because my first thought is, nothing that a woman is doing today necessarily precludes her from having a wife. I mean, a husband and children, outside of a desire to find a solution. There are women who were showgirls back in. Who, who did? So, but here's the thing. The older you get, the more stuff you have. You have a home. You meet a man that has a home. That's a problem. Yeah. I'm, so I'm finding, right? Or their home is their mom's home. Like, that can't be my problem. Where, or, but the, but the real problem is there's nothing new. At 36, you're a homeowner, you got a car, you got this, you got that. What can a man do for you at 36 that you can't do for yourself? Family. All right. But outside of that, you go to, a, I mean, but, but arguably, there's no, there's, what magic is still left in a relationship outside of children? And that's the one thing. How many kids do you want to have? I'd be happy with one, but I'd go for two. Well, I will tell you, at 36 years old, um, something happened to me 
10 years ago that shocked the shit out of me. I started getting emails and inboxes from women I knew from college and in my career. And this is when baby packs start coming out. I didn't know what these things were. And they were basically asking me, hey, would you basically be the father of my child? Do you have any male friends that you have? Because I'm, because if you're waiting to do it the old-fashioned way, it's either baby pack or matchmaker. Because you're up against time. Yeah, I won't, I won't disagree with you. I think another problem, too, is that who I'm around predominantly are women and gay men. Yep who's in circles. So it's very difficult to just meet someone who's straight. Well, I work in image and style and I will tell you, I get it. And this is why women like yourself who are in arts are going to have to either deal with the patrons of the arts or said matchmakers because you allow yourself to get to a point to where time is against you. And uh, this is why I say I don't believe much in love. We don't get love at our age. We, we get respect and companionship. Love is a, for 27 and under. Ouch. But why? You can grow to love somebody. I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do we say ouch? I have friends. I mean, you can actually, our grandparents didn't get love. They, they met each other and courted for 90 days. They fell in love over a lifetime. This Disney stuff ain't done too well for us. Or, I don't think I'm expecting a fairy tale, but I don't know how much I want somebody to grow on me. Well, <laughs> you can always buy a cat or a dog. <laughs> They'll grow on you either way, but you can't get everything, ladies. Now you're at a point in life where you got to make trade-offs. And the older you get, the more trade-offs you have to make because what you're asking somebody to grow on you, but they're also accepting an older wife and only one child. They don't get a young, they don't get the young 25 year old you and 10 years of your womb. So I, that's why I say self-awareness, gratitude, humility, and empathy. Modern women need to put themselves in men's position and realize what men want and what men are giving up are willing to accept by dealing with modern women. We don't get uh, Phyllis Schlafly and the Sally the Homemaker and the babe and the bread. We still gotta pay the bills. That's why I say 2021, the more you ladies can put yourself in the position of men, I think the more realistic the decision and expectations will be. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Dance Thank on. You. Hello. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Good. Thank you. Good. How old are you? I'm actually 42, Kevin. 42. Are you single or are you, I single am. Or are you married? I'm, I am single. Any children? No. Uh, would you like to be married one day? Yes, I would love that. And I actually um, wish I could have uh, fi found you uh, early on in life. Early on, how long ago? <laughs> I think, sadly, I started to realize everything that you're saying when I was 32. Um, Ten years ago, we, look, we, you change every five years. I wasn't the man I am today 10 years ago. We all have to evolve. But here's the ultimate question. At 42, you, you have no children. I'm assuming you don't want kids? I actually do, it, but, I mean, obviously my age is not going to – you know, I'm I'm definitely not okay. <laughs> you know, well, able to, I guess. Uh, uh, okay, how tall yeah. are you? I'm five nine. I'm five nine. Size? <laughs> um, I'm probably an eight ten, eight or ten. Um, yeah, yeah. Try again. Yeah, uh, uh, probably a 10, How much a 10. Last time you weighed yourself? At 200 pounds. That's every bit of 12, yeah. 14. Right. Okay, so you can't do that. Okay. Why, why do I say you can't do that? Yeah, I, I, I really understand that, um, you know, uh, Taking care of yourself, well, I, I mean, you especially... Why do I say you can't misrepresent that? 
Why do you say that? Um, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. And you're 200 oh. pounds. That's not even close yeah. to your size. Why, oh, why, okay, why, okay. I said you can't do that. Why would, why would you, and I say you can't do that. Why would I say you can't do that? Oh, because probably I'm bigger is what you're saying? A bigger dress yes, size? Is that what Okay, okay, okay. I haven't I haven't worn a dress in a in a while. I actually gained uh fifty five pounds since COVID. My the so, I ask these questions is sure. to, to get women to be honest about who they are to see if you if you understand. So if you're five nine, you're two hundred how many pounds? Two hundred pounds. I, no. <laughs> Look about two kids, no. fifteen. But that's okay. That's okay. You gained fifty. You said you gained fifty pounds in COVID. Fifty-five. How much were you, yeah. how much were you before that? I was probably about one seventy-three to one seventy-five. I always weighed a lot. One seventy-three to one seventy-five plus fifty-five pounds yeah. is every bit of two twenty-five, two thirty. See how that works? Um. See? Oh, okay. See, see, okay. This is why I, I mean, I'm really an image consultant in real life. And we spend Got so it. Much Got time it. On something. Why are we spending time on this? Not to humiliate you. Not to embarrass you. No, no. Just, this Not. is the starting point for me. If you can be okay. 42 as a woman, if you can't be honest and say, I'm 230 pounds in a dress size 16, 18. You right. know what I'm talking about? You're 18. That'll be like a man coming in and saying, I'm 5'7. With a 12 inch long, he makes $200,000 a year. He on Subway sandwiches. Would that be okay if he did that? No. Right. Right. So, and this is part of the disconnect. You ladies don't aren't, aren't honest with yourselves. So, I, I'm going to mm -hmm. ask the questions. At 42, you like to be married one day. How did you get to 42 years old and not have kids and not get married, and then all of a sudden you want them now? I became. Um a Christian and I became very close to like doing things in the church and kind of like um, serving and got caught up in like I'm a special ed teacher so I kind of got caught up in the service of my teaching career and then just I, mean, I think I really was just like hiding from a lot of pain and a lot of issues that you know I had in the past that I really never confronted and I just I, I, you know, um, my family, we grew up Catholic. Yeah, I, I am. I just finished my session with my therapist right now. So I'm seeing it. Uh, five years, about five years. Okay. So if you never, if you don't get married, what does life look like? So, right. Um, there are a lot of, uh, well, what does life look like for me if I don't get married? I'm I'm just kind of trying to just um, get back to being healthy um, and balancing my life uh, in a way where I'm not full on into church, where it's just kind of like, um, like I got religious in a way. Man, no, man, man, man. I'm really trying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was I was raised I was born I was raised a Christian. Chris, church has nothing yeah. to do with the reason you're single. Okay. And if okay. I can be honest, ma'am, you don't sound like you're ready for a relationship. I mean, at 42, mm -hmm. I'm really struggling to, to get a direct, truthful answer out of you. Yeah. It's really what I'm struggling for, yeah. to get a direct, truthful answer. See, at 42, see, Oftentimes, when I talk about I date younger women, women in our generation be like, why you want to date a younger woman? You just want these little girls. Da, 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 da. No, it's because women our age, in our age cohort, how you should be beating younger women is with wisdom and self-awareness. But if I line what you're talking like now against like the 20-something, the early 20-year-olds, y'all sound the same. Except, mm -hmm. Except what? I'm sorry. And they're still twenty and twenty year old body, twenty year old. They got the benefit of you. Mm -hmm. So got it. 
at what point do you think you're going to get serious about the things you say you want regarding a man? Because you're 42. You don't have mm -hmm. one more day to wait. Mm -hmm. So, Kevin, um, you talked about training and stuff. Um, and so one thing I am um, focusing on is actually I was that career type of woman because I kind of did real estate before. I, I would kind of flip homes. And um, I, I was just dabbling with some entrepreneur stuff um, where I had, like, vending machines, like a route and stuff. So I was kind of busy making money as well, mm -hmm. right? I live in Los Angeles. Do you have a roommate? No, I, I actually, <laughs> this is so embarrassing, but uh, my mom gave me her, her house and she's getting older. And so I know it was like a thing where she wanted, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, Kevin. You, you, you said I was a business person and this and that. I'm trying to hear where this, where the outcomes are. Where's the money? Yeah. Are you sitting on millions of dollars? No, no, I spent a lot of time. I you went. Own home? No, uh, well, no, no. just. You have Mercedes, yeah. BMW, no. Acura, or what? Where's no, no, I car? don't. <laughs> a Toyota. <laughs> Camry. Mid price car. So, ma'am, that rear mm -hmm. and all that stuff, see? You, no, there was no career. Mm hmm. Yeah. So at 42, sounds to me like so many women. You're just going through life. No, I'm just thinking it's going to happen. So you talk about training. When was the last relationship you had? Um, well, I mean, it wasn't uh, serious. It was like. You had last when? Um, probably, okay, so I was seeing this guy for about five years. What, Kevin, tell me. When? It was about, like, the last time I saw him was about, like, six months ago. How long, How long were you guys together? Off and on for about five years. Well... Um, not much work with him, man. Say it again, I'm sorry? Not much to work with you. Mm. Uh, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll say is, if, what do you think you have to offer a man? Mm -hmm. I'm asking you. Um, I, I'm actually... Um, willing to like what you're saying like be, be trained because this last guy um, there was a lot of stuff that like he wanted for his household what are you okay ma'am yeah we're talking about starting a whole relationship with a whole new person okay they gotta okay. decide hey, what, do you, what do you have to offer I, I, it's hard to answer that, to be honest. Well, okay. You can't. Yeah. Okay. See, as a man, I know that I can't go out to a woman and say, I have no job, no transportation, no residence. I know I have to have something, even primates mm -hmm. and mammals. Male, males of the species know they got to offer something to the females to me. Why I'm right. doing this is because I'm like, you, you, women today have been told you just have to exist to the point to where I'm talking to you and you're 42 and you can't tell me the basic stuff that you should kind of have been understanding since junior high, or high school. Well, I, I know I want to be a, like a stay-at-home wife. I want to be able to have a home. That's out. I want that's out. That's oh, out. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Wife, 
Why would you be a stay-at-home wife and no kids? How would you well, this guy retire? had. How would you get to retire after marriage? Okay. Why, what, give me the logic behind that. Retire, you said. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, you got, got it. Married and you were a stay-at-home wife. That means you would not work anymore. Right. from the work world. Okay. Well, Listen, can, can, okay, okay. Is that true or false? You'd be retired. You would not be going to do your 40, okay. That's quitting yes. the work world. That's retirement. Mm -hmm. And what would you be doing at home? Well, that's what I wanted to say. Um, you know, I, I, um, I actually meet men who what have would children. What you be doing at home? I want to have a nice, lovely, organized home for my man to come home to, to have home cooked meals. I want to be sane. I want to. Waiting after the house is organized and he's out making the money, who would mess, yes. who would mess it up? Who would mess it up? I'm, I would. I would think the kids, no, right? Yeah. Is that what you're referring to? Okay. I go, out, well, I go out of the door to leave you at home. Got it. The house got is you. Clean and organized. Yeah. Yeah, what I do see. What you need to do? Got you. I understand. I understand what you're saying. No, no I wouldn't need to do anything because there's no one at home, just myself. Yeah. Got you. You want to be a housewife. Obviously, you weren't raised to be a housewife. No, I wasn't, where, Kevin. Where I was where not. Where are people from? We're, I'm Mexican. Uh, I was born in Mexico. Mexican, believe it or not. How many Mexican women get married and start having their children in their 40s? Not a lot. Not at all. At all. No. So, ma'am, are you talking about reality? You said you want to be a housewife. And why would a man go get a 42-year-old woman to start making kids with. And then she doesn't have to work. How many Mexican women are housewives and don't work? Mm -hmm. I mean, what percent? Of the I don't know percentage. Out of 100% of married Mexican women, what percentage of married mm -hmm. Mexican women are stay at home housewives? I mean, I wouldn't know what to tell you because I don't, I don't look at the percentage. Well, but I'm as far as my. You, want, you need to be able to tell me something. Well, I mean, numbers I can't. Be a stay-at-home stay housewife, a man needs to be able to pay for it, right? Yeah. So you couldn't be a stay-at-home yeah. housewife if a man couldn't afford for you to stay at home. So he has to be a That's higher correct. earning man. So you're talking about less than ten percent of women. See, what mm -hmm. I'm trying to get everybody to understand is this is the gap between. This woman is 42 on 52. We're roughly in the same age range. But the gap between you and me uh, is the Grand Canyon. When people are listening, it just sounds like you're talking. I want kids and I would be a stay-at-home wife. And it's like, well, ma'am, you'd be lucky just to have a man at this point. Lucky. Fortunate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, yeah. Or do you not see it that way? I do. I, I, I understand it. I understand it a lot. Then why not just focus? Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. So I, would, I have a question. When women get to your age, I almost feel like you guys are asking for everything just because it's the last call. You ever go to a bar mm. and the bar is about to shut down and they say last call or what happens? Everybody runs to the bar because it's the last drink you can drink. Mm -hmm. And they order a double long iron iced tea with three tequila shots on top. It's because mm -hmm. it's about to close. I think a lot of older mm -hmm. women are at that point. It's the last call, and y'all are just saying you want all this stuff, and you're not thinking about how much money is in your pocket and the hangover. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you, if you would you be willing to work just as hard as you're working now, or harder? Uh, if you got married and had a husband? 
I mean, yeah, I, I, I like the way you put it as far as helping me to think <laughs> that there would be nobody at home. Yeah, yeah. It's just the, the last guy I dated had two kids, full custody of them. Married, so, so yeah, you're right. Why you're right. He Why didn't he marry me? Um, <laughs> he, I don't know. He just didn't say. I mean, we didn't move forward with that. I mean, he didn't say that. He didn't say anything. Say it again. The relationship. It's not mutual. Well, um, no, no, it's not mutual. I think um, pretty much he did. Yeah, he why? did. He didn't say why. He just stopped calling. <laughs> What about the relationship before that? Well, what about the, no, well no, 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 we no, no, would. Okay. What about the relationship? Before, go ahead. What about the relationship you had before that? Um. So he was he was uh five years older um, and uh, he how had. Old was it? That was three years. Okay, so it was uh five years ago. So like eight years ago. How long, how eight how long years did ago. That last? Uh, four years. Sure, four years. Off yeah, and on. Four year relationship and off and on five year relationship. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's almost mm -hmm. 10 years, man. Okay. Have you had another relationship before that one? Just one more, okay. yeah. So why are none of these men married? Um, well, I can say that the first one wanted to, but, but I didn't want why? to. I didn't want to. Well, because I, I you know, it's the whole thing that you talk no, about no, a lot where... No, I don't, I don't just <laughs> He was like not. Um, he was like not educated in a sense, and not like not open to, huh? No, he didn't go to college. He barely graduated. Oh yeah, I did. I went to college. I went to college. You get a bachelor's or a man? I got an associate's, bachelor's. I just got a. I just got a bachelor's. I got a bachelor's in Spanish, and then I got my credential in special ed. <laughs> What do you mean he wasn't educated? Did he graduated high school? He barely graduated high school, yeah. Barely. And then he graduated. Yeah, yeah, he did, sir. No, he, did. he did. So what I'm hearing is you were better than him. No, you because educated. when you say when a woman said a man's not educated, that's not a compliment. That means gotcha. your education is higher than his. So, no, listen, well, what listen, I, what listen, I, listen, listen. Okay, yes. Because you're going to be single for the rest of your life, so you need to understand why. <laughs> yes, okay. The man that you likely would have fit with was the guy who barely graduated from high school, but he graduated, as opposed to the woman who, are you a native Spanish speaker? Yes. And you went to college for Spanish? Yes, I was going to be. I I, I no, 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 absolutely not. You went to college for a useless degree. Okay. Mm -hmm. So who was smarter? The guy, but he mm -hmm. wasn't an educator. Well, but the thing that tends to happen is when, like, when women get those degrees, you feel like it makes you more valuable, even though the degree. It's true. So you thought you were better than him. And here's the thing, it's that true. was likely your best fit. Yeah. And I want to know mm -hmm. from you and all the other women, why do you guys think you just get unlimited chances? Do you make room for the possibility that, that you don't have any more chances? That, like, that mm -hmm. men don't see you as a, because you're not young. You are 42 years old. Mm -hmm. where, where did I say you would be at? 27 is time to sell. 30, 30 you're 50% off. 35, you're on clearance. Mm -hmm. 40, you're in the outlet center. 50, Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. You're at the outlet stage of life. Mm -hmm. It was a joke, but it's serious. And this is what I mean. At 42, it's like, well, you know, I didn't, I didn't do this and I didn't do that. And you were with a man in your youth who wanted to marry you and you didn't marry him. Well, that's, that's, you're a woman of faith. Does God tell you that there's nothing in our faith that tradition that says you get unlimited rides? Hmm. So now. I wasn't, I wasn't saved back then, though. Know, that's fine. 
But now we now we have to start looking at quality of life. Uh, yes, sir. What is the rest of your life going to look like as a single woman? Yes, that's been something that I'm kind of just thinking, working yes, on yes, type of thing. And I do, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? Sisters or brothers? I have one sister and one oh, there one sister and one brother are they, older. Are they, are they, is your sister married? Yes. Your brother married? Yes. Uh, get those badges up, people. This hit the badges. Y'all want me to turn the comments on? Hit the badges. Ma'am, I'm not trying to be funny, but the numbers are really stacked against you. Let's let's say what we have so far. Just May I, what, may I ask why you said about my brother and my sister, married, and then married. you said... So it's not like you go live with your brother yeah. and your sister. They got families. They got lives. Yes, so they you do. You got to live do. by yourself. So right. Let's just, let's just take stock of where we are right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. How tall? 5'9". 5'9", 230 pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When I said five nine, you didn't say anything because you accept that to be a fact. Mm -hmm. You are five yes. nine. Yes. Man. Yes. You are every bit of 220, 230 pounds. I can see your okay. face and your hands, and I do this for real. Stop bringing your attention okay. to something that you you need to accept the fact that that's the weight. Okay. You walk All right. A puff jacket. I just took a walk outside, Stop. but yeah, okay. That's all I'm saying. Stop lying. Sorry. That's all I'm okay. okay. All right, all right. Okay. 42, and you ain't doing nothing about it. So that's even more. 42, 230 pounds. Uh, and your job currently is what? Special ed teacher. So you're, you're a teacher. So you're, you're yes. earning middle class income. Yes. All right. So I, I just have to kind of, what do you recommend? Just worry about me? Well. And survive? <laughs> truthfully, um, I don't know if you don't like what I'm going to say. Okay. If you don't make enough money to, who's going to pay for your retirement? After, you, after you're 65 and you can't work anymore, who's going to pay for that? You'll get, you'll be, you'll get, if Social Security is around, you'll get a fixed income, less than a thousand dollars a month. Teachers have, do you have teachers, do you have a pension? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And you live in LA? I'm investing, I'm investing right now. Um, yes. You're investing. Okay. Ma'am, you can only invest what you earn. Well, so yeah. You okay. So you can't, you can't, you can't just. It's like saying I'm investing. That's like you only can invest what you earn. You don't make enough money to get a massive return. So yes. at 65, when you are no longer capable of working and earning a living, mm -hmm. who's going to pay for you? Mm -hmm. When your money runs mm -hmm. out, when the pension runs out, and if the less than $1,000 you're getting from Social Security ain't enough, you don't own a home, the camera will be dead, what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? See, more you like, well, I'm screwed. You like you said, I'm screwed, right? Like you said, I'm screwed, you right? What you did, but what's going to happen? If you can't pay your rent, what happens? Well, I mean, I, I'm tr I'm trying right now because I have thought of that, Kevin. I, I really have. Rent, what happens? If I can't rent, you said you it would pay happen. Your mortgage, what happens? I don't really have a big mortgage. I'm trying to pay it off right okay. now. If you can't pay your mortgage and you can't pay your utilities, you don't have enough food. Okay. Money. You get you don't you don't have enough money for medications. And mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something happens in the house. You don't make enough money. What happens? I'm screwed.
basically. See, I want you guys to understand that women really, truly do not want to say what, just like they, just like that thing about their weight, they won't go all the way down to the end. Um, where in the world can a single elderly woman survive on her own? Where can an elderly woman? I mean, I, I, my experience has been that I've seen elderly women especially in our com our community, like no matter what, like, people care for them, uh -huh. but that's not the goal, that's not my end goal. Are they their family members? Family members or even like friends, okay. like I've in seen. In your neighborhood, they're just as broke as you. They're just as middle class as you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So how? Yeah. See, this is what the position that you ladies are in. You don't have a husband. And you're going to run out of money. And you, yeah. run, and you think yeah. the government or somehow the, the neighborhood or, or, or family, well, you're fa so you're going to be a burden to somebody else is what it is. Well, right now I am kind of making moves with some certain things. Um, I have, I have, um, I'm turning the house into a rental unit. Um, I'm going to do an ADU and then I'm trying to buy another house right now to do, um, or, or, or I'm trying to buy units right now to, um, you know, get rent. And then also my dad left me some land in Mexico on the beach. So my sister and I are working together to, well, we're trying to, we're trying to build something where where we want to do like an Airbnb because it's right next to Puerto Vallarta. So my sister and I are working. You're taking mm -hmm. all your, you're taking money and, and let's just go with that. You build it and mm -hmm. you, you take the land that's on the beach and you build it into an Airbnb. You buy another house. Mm -hmm. It's still contingent upon somebody paying rent. Okay. Okay. What if nobody rents them? Okay. What happens? Yeah, I mean, of course, there's that risk, no, 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 right? No. What happens? You take all your money and you invest mm -hmm. it into a property, and you hope that somebody rents it. Well, we do. We do have experience. Like my mom had a hotel out there. My aunt had it, and so. I don't have any sympathy. I don't. Middle class, special ed teacher, thinking of your real estate mogul in your retirement. Just admit, I'm clutching at straws. Everything mm -hmm. I'm doing, mm -hmm. I hope it works, and it has to work. Because I don't have a husband, I don't have the relationship skills to keep a relationship together, but this makes me mm -hmm. doing this and it's all got to work mm. versus doing the one thing that has worked for thousands of years. That's why I'm having this conversation. So I want you guys to understand how women are doing things. Is that the, the simple path is I need to get a husband. I need to get somebody in here that I can split the bills with so we can grow old together so he can watch my back and I watch his back so we can combine the incomes together. But no, I'm talking to a woman who's a Special ed teacher, you talk about you don't even own your own house. Your mama did something with that. You got some money from your daddy. That ain't yours. You mm -hmm. taking that and investing mm -hmm. it into something, and some property in here, and you playing Monopoly and Donald Trump, and it all got to work. Mm -hmm. And that makes more sense than saying, I need to keep that capital. Okay. Because that's not a guarantee. Okay. Or is it? You no, why? Well, no, I mean, there's you're all building a home for an Airbnb. What if Airbnb ain't around in 15 years? Mm -hmm. Are you really mm -hmm. honestly thinking about the 65 year old you? 
Well, that's how that's how my mom and my aunt retired. Your mom was married to who? My mom got my dad left when I was thirteen. Okay. So my mom started building a hotel in her forties. Okay. And and my aunt did too. And then also I had my own hotel home hotel and hotel I. I had my a hotel in uh, it's called Guayavitos. It's it's like forty five. Yes, in Mexico. Did your mother live in the states. She lived in the states till she was the until my dad died. Say it hotel again. Was in Mexico. She built it in Mexico in her forties. Right. The hotel was in mm -hmm. Mexico, a different economy. Yes. At a different time. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, this is the game. This is. I mean. I, is that what I said? No. No. I, so no, Kevin. I really appreciate well, it. Gonna, I do. I'm, I please. I'm, 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 I know. I'm frustrated because so many women have been so lied to. That this. Makes sense. Yes, I'm you're right. Like, well, my mom did it. Yeah. In Mexico. Mm -hmm. You in LA, and you're a special ed teacher. Yeah. Yes. You haven't built anything. But you assume that everything you're going to do is just going to work. Because your mom did it, and then your aunt did it. Was your aunt married? My aunt wasn't married either. She got divorced. Yeah. yeah. This is why. No, but it's true, Kevin. This is, yes, so, uh, so they so are. And The issue is this is what happens with average. And I want you guys to think I'm being difficult. Remember. That when she was younger, she thought she was better than a man who wanted to marry her. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's what that's what you guys forget. Every 40 some odd year old woman that I talk to tends to have had left a man in their youth who wanted to be with them. And they turned him down. You thought too. Kevin, yeah. can I can I ask? Nope. Okay. Nope. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. I don't want to keep doing it. All right. That, that's enough. See? And I was looking in my comment section the other day and he was talking about this whole Valentine's Day. And the guy said he and his wife went out on Valentine's Day and they went out and they were having a good time and all the couples were having a good time. And he said he looked over the table full of women who were out on Valentine's Day. And the, and the women were like, yeah, we don't need no man and blah, 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 just loud and such and so forth in a restaurant. We're all couples, right? Then, and as the story goes, a man proposes to his girlfriend in the restaurant and all the people in the restaurant say, oh, 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 how beautiful or whatever. And then one of the women who were at the Galentine celebration all of a sudden started talking about, oh, 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 how come I can't get a man like that and this and that and starts crying and everything else. And then the way he tells the story is all the attention went from the newly engaged couple to consoling the woman who was crying, who was just on some I don't need no man shit. That's the problem. We console women. We console women in their errors. Just like people in the chat room. Oh, you're beautiful, honey. You're this, you're that. That shit ain't helping these women. At 42, I'm talking to the women who are 20, so you can understand and have choices. At 42, this woman's talking about she's going to be a housewife and have kids. Telling her she's beautiful. How are you helping by keeping this delusion going on? And it doesn't have anything to do with not being a beautiful person. It has everything to do with she still has the mindset of, I'm, a bit, I'm independent, independent. My, me, 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 me. Everything that her future plans is me, me, me. I got to do it all on my own. Okay. You can't build vertical. This is what I'm telling you. Ladies, stop allowing these women just to tell you what you want to hear to make your ears feel good. Go ahead. Okay, so yeah, um, Kevin, I don't know if it's me or the men that I'm dating, but um, they kind of make it seem like my attitude is like a bit difficult. Okay. But... I'm not really sure if I have like an attitude problem or I just have like lowerance for BS. How old are you? 
Um, I just turned 27. 27. Um, mm -hmm. how tall are you? Five foot six. Dress size. Eight. Mm-hmm. How much you weigh? Last time you um, weighed I'm yourself? Um, I'm definitely on a weight loss. How much did you weigh right the last now? time you weighed um, yourself? So this morning. Yeah, it was this morning. I was one eighty nine. Okay. Um, look, ma'am, that's not a dress size eight. I'm an image consultant in real life. Let's try that again. Dress size. Um, honestly, I'm not really sure. So you lied to me. Whatever yeah. my. See, I don't like I don't like people to just come out and make up stuff. You're five foot how tall? I mean, you're five foot how tall? I'm five foot six. Right, 190 pounds. That's yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm being honest, man. Um, if men are telling you you have an attitude, first off, you don't really, you don't want to be reading the mm -hmm. comment section. That's not going to help because I'm having a conversation with you and. Um, what do you mean when guys tell you you have an attitude problem or maybe you just have low tolerance? What do you mean? Um, I don't know. They just make it seem like I really can't take a joke or um, I just tend to have like not the best patience. But basically, they just make it seem like I'm the issue. But sometimes I just really feel like, like I know I have things I need to work on, but I just feel like Sometimes they're just like not man enough to handle you. Yeah, hmm. like, but the thing is, like, I know I have things to work on. Like, I don't need to work on my patience and maybe my attitude a little bit. Who do you live with? I live alone. Right. I don't know why women feel like somebody has to put up with your attitude. Well, I don't know about ladies, like women in general, or in particular. Why should anybody have to put up with your attitude? Good point. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm, I'm being dead honest. And what state do you live in? I'm in Kansas. <laughs> Kansas. Um, it's good to, you know, think highly of yourself. But um, I'm going to ask you a hard question. Do your attitudes match your looks? I think so. Okay. Where would you rank yourself scale of one to ten? You can't use seven. Just right here. Um, well, I'm really natural right now, so I would say um, an eight. An eight? I mean I'm being honest, okay. yeah. And when you're when you're made up, where would you put yourself? A nine. Hmm. So you put yourself up there with Beyonce and Kelly Rowland. In my opinion, yes. I mean, I know like beauty is not. No, beauty is very but... beauty is very formulaic. It's not that subjective. See, people, women who tend to have attitude problems tend to overvalue themselves. That's why I went directly into something you can't lie about: your height, your weight, your dress size, your looks. See, those things are static. And what you what you told me is by five foot five, one hundred ninety pounds you're not hot enough to have an attitude and to rank yourself as eight or nine you can walk out into the world and nobody if if if, if somebody puts you in a line next to beyonce and kelly Rowland, age adjusted there's no way that they would say you all look like y'all match you can't you can't honestly believe that You nod your head saying, yes, you do or no, you don't. No, I understand what you're but saying. But I'm asking, what do you think? I'm sorry, can you repeat if, the question? If, if I were able to take Beyonce and Kelly Rowland, age adjusted, and put you all side by side, people would not say you all look like you match. They would say this one I is agree. better than that one, that one's better than this one. And this one does not match. I understand. 
but do you do you agree or disagree okay kevin so like i know you want me to just answer the well question. i want I, if you give yourself an eight nine or ten that's pretty beautiful or gorgeous if you're an eight what is beyonce uh, Beyonce is definitely very gorgeous. Like I obviously know Beyonce looks better than me, but okay. I, 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 but what what is she though? Is she a nine, a ten, twelve? Uh, what? She's a ten. Right, she's a ten. You're an eight. Um. Then, oh, let's see. Who what can I use? What would K Michelle be? Um. Um. You said K mm -hmm. Michelle. I would say like a seven or eight. What would Fantasia be? Well, Fantasia, in my opinion, I would say maybe like a six. So you look better than Fantasia, and you are you look better than K Michelle. Yeah, I I think I do. <coughs> I mean, Kevin, Kevin, you're asking me. I, I need, uh, okay, but what I'm asking you to, what I'm trying to understand is if you have, a, I'm asking if you have any humility, an accurate estimation of what is, and you have proven even by whether you agree with my skills or not, you ranked yourself higher than K. Michelle and higher than Fantasia. You ranked yourself a shade below Beyonce, and you are nowhere close to being the you're not you're not hotter than any of those women and you damn sure your your figure come on we know that needs work why is all this important because if you actually people who actually are humble don't have a lot of impatience or low tolerance for people but people who think they're more than they are I mean, you may be, this, I don't know, maybe you're in pure. I don't know what part of Kansas you're in, but maybe you're hot for that part of Kansas. I mean, I've definitely traveled. Uh, well, then you should have a better estimation of yourself. And, I mean, I primarily only date black men. It has nothing to do I, with just dating black men. It, your question came in saying that you people told you that you have an attitude. And I'm trying to understand what is it based on? That's a great question. I honestly, if I had to say what my ad, my attitude is based on, I would say my past and it's not an excuse, but I'm definitely still trying Your to- past, No, 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 no. Your attitude for being low tolerance with other people. I think you're trying to get me to say because I'm not good looking enough. Well, so how about you? Uh, you know what? It. Don't try to figure out what I'm trying to get you to say. If I want you to say something, I'll ask a question. I don't, I'm not trying to get you to say anything other than what you really think. I don't know why people, I, I think you're trying to, I think you, what is this? <laughs> oh man. Um, well, here's the net net of it. Um, your, if your attitudes um, give you problems, then even the guys in Kansas will tell you to give you problems. Then you need to change something. But oftentimes when women or people have an overinflated estimation of themselves, they tend to not have much tolerance for other people. And based on what you told me, you have an overinflated sense of yourself. Can I ask you what makes you think that? Um, you're five foot five, 190 pounds. And you're cute, but you are nowhere close to being an eight. That's not rude. If, okay. okay. If you went out for an audition to be a model, right? I don't know if you've ever, I don't know if you or anybody in the audience has ever done this. But if you guys think what I'm saying is tough, go out to a cattle call where they say, we're looking for the prettiest girls in town and watch. Have you ever watched American Idol? 
Yes. And you know, have you ever seen some of these people on American Island? You're like, these people cannot sing. But they but yeah. they got up there anyway. But then there are people who didn't think they could sing and they could blow. It's the same way with looks. You get a bunch of women in anywhere and there are women who think too high, not high enough. But when you get in there with people who judge looks for a living, they go through a very formulaic way of looking at things. And if you think I'm tough, uh, especially if you're gonna do modeling work, they would say, come on in, okay, strip down to your underwear. And they will begin to, this is wrong, your hair's wrong, you, oh, you need that thing out of your nose, or you got a pimple there, or your elbows out, uh, uh, look at her toe. No, that's not what, a lot of people can't handle it. They could not handle being scrutinized from head to toe. Just because when you're judging people's looks, you have to be honest with what you see because it's gonna be put before everybody else. The thing is, you may not be fit ready to listen to that level of honesty, but in the world, it's not much different. People are just polite. Now, imagine how somebody walking into American Idol or somebody who really thinks they're talented, who can rap, I, I can rap, I can sing, I can whatever. You ever seen somebody jump up like they really had talent and you're like, oh my God, they're no good. But you couldn't tell them shit. That's how a lot of women are with their looks. They really believe this shit until somebody sits down and says, you are not talented. You can't sing, you can't dance, that's trash, that's garbage. Because they have told themselves that there's something. What happens with many women today, why you feel like you're dating down, is the world, Western world has not given women an accurate estimation of yourselves. We've removed competition. We've removed beauty standards. We, 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 we don't want to judge. We, we got 350 pound women on the cover of Cosmopolitan. So it makes sense to me that Ladies are having a problem estimating themselves. And it's frustrating to a lot of women because if you think you're here, then you want outcomes that are up here. But if you're getting outcomes that are down here, that means what? Oh, there's just something wrong with the market. No, it's because you're down here. That's what tends to cause a lot of disconnect. That's why I started right where I started. If you're saying these are the issues you're having with men, they're saying you're this or that, it's because it tends to be with women because you think you're up here. And because if you had respect for these guys, you wouldn't talk to them that way. True or false? That's true. So anybody in the comments think I'm just being harsh or mean? No, there's always a reason. Get just more become more realistic about who you are I'm not saying you're i'm not saying you're an unattractive woman i'm saying you know i think you rank yourself high um and when you start estimating yourself easier it's a hell of a lot easier for you to be um reasonable and patient with other people does that make sense all right have a good night thank all you right. Guys, some of this stuff is not easy to hear, man. But I, I'm honest. If anybody has ever, I think Simon Cowell is tough on American Idol. You guys would not be, you guys would not do well going to Hollywood or getting in front of an agent where they're like, oh no. But okay, um, any children? No, I don't have kids yet. Okay. Um, why do you want to be married? Why do I want to be married? I think that's every little girl's dream, I guess. Um, I want the family. I didn't, like I said, I didn't come from a married home. So I want the kids. I've always, since I was younger, like I want my kids to be full siblings. Like I don't want any separation. I want the family to be a family. I want us to build together. I always wanted to be the wife and feel like a woman. I'm sorry? Did you go to college? I did. Okay. 
Black so what does, what does a successful look like? What does a successful life for a woman like yourself look like? Um, dang, that's a good question because I really don't know. I guess just happiness, love. You can get success anywhere. I don't know why people always think it's associated with school only. Um, there's other ways to be successful. So I don't, I don't did know. Did you go to college? I did. I only got my associates though. Okay. Um, how tall are you? I'm five feet. Dress size? What? Dress, a dress size? size? I'm a six or a four. It depends on the dress. How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 130. Okay. Um, would you be surprised if I told you that when I asked you about why you wanted to be married, you mentioned nothing about a man? That is a man. I said build with a family. That's having a man. Check that shit. Backbone. Check check that shit. <laughs> I want you guys to understand how y'all all talk about she's cute and all this other shit. I want you to understand how quickly she switched. Now, go back in the video and look at the expression on her face. No, I'm, I didn't even notice the comments. But, don't worry about. Uh, don't worry about that. Here's what I need you to do: turn off your comments and let's have the conversation. I don't have the comments on. Okay, cool. Like okay, but I, what I'm saying is, let's take a step back. Mm -hmm. How long have you been watching my content? I just started like earlier in January. Okay. Would you, would you say that I listen and hear things pretty well? Yes. Okay. So if I heard, if I said that, that I asked you about a marriage and you didn't say one thing about a man, why would your reaction be, uh-uh? Because when I said that I wanted to build with someone and not want a separate home, I would think that that implies that I want my, the man the back Implication? Backbone implication? Sorry. The implication. I asked you about, I asked you what does a successful look like, a life look like. You said love and a bunch of other feelings. And then you said, I don't know why people say you need education. In both of those things, I asked those questions mm -hmm. looking for, and I had my radar set to ding when I heard man. Okay. And it didn't ding. Got it. So, if that's what, okay. So, uh, how long is your longest relationship? Uh, I think it was five years. Five years? Five years long? Yeah. How long ago, how long ago did it end? Two years ago. And uh, which one have you ended it? Me. Uh, why? I didn't want to be in it. Why? Oh. Uh, it's a long story, but um. No, make it make it I make it quick. You weren't feeling it. Like it just, I wasn't happy. It wasn't it. He didn't bring out my happiness, or we didn't just match. I don't know. It just, it wasn't it. It wasn't what I was looking for at the moment. Five years. Mm -hmm. How'd you end? How'd you end it? Um, I just told him that not working just like how'd that you end, how'd you end it you were you were just at how you were at the house you were at dinner what happened how'd you end oh it? uh we were in my car and i just told him that i don't think it's you were best. driving yeah you were driving yeah and he was in your passenger seat yes where were you guys going i was dropping him off at work so, did you tell him this in the parking lot? No, while I was at a red light. About how far from work? Probably like, I don't know, that was two years ago. I honestly don't remember. It was a five-year relationship. I know, but I have selective memory. So probably like, it wasn't that far, probably like another 
10 to 15 minutes to the to his job. 10, 15 minutes in traffic? Yes. Well, New York streets. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? Uh, he worked at the mall. So, and you were leaving your apartment? Yeah. I just thought we would be better as friends while we both. I, I Okay, so I want you guys to understand something. What did I say? Uh, that in neither, neither two scenarios did she mention a man and she barked at me. I want you guys to remember that. And like I said Monday night, I asked the question, what does a successful life look like for a woman like yourself? And she started talking about the feelings thing. The relationship, I said, you need to start asking women how their relationships end. And I want you guys to understand, this one was in a five-year relationship. And she ended in a cold, callous way. The man was on. Sorry. OK. You think it's appropriate for a five-year relationship to be driving somebody to French toast ass work. And they got to have that on their mind while they're at work. See, I told you modern women are cowards. They don't deal with conflict. And when they're done with you, they get rid of you. That's what I said today. Know when to run, know when to walk, and when to run. That video is on this channel and on YouTube. I don't just talk. And then I said, well, tell me the details. Oh, that was two years ago. I guarantee you he remembers what the hell you did to him. Bet you that. I bet you that. And I'm going to tell you something. Any man who's worth his salt that will look for a wife is going to ask you these questions too. Okay, and I can be able to tell him the full story about it. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, what? you can't. Cause soon as, well, you, you think you can. Why would they sit here and listen to this shit? Five year relationship for a 28 year old woman and you just on the way to work. I told them, dude, 10 minutes outside of work. This just ain't gonna work. Peace out. I didn't do it like that, though. Oh, OK. You're, you're making me sound like I did it. Like, Ma'am, I asked you how you did it. Ma'am, I asked you how you did it. I can't you said it was that. two years ago. I want you guys to understand that this is how serious they, this is how little they care. I have selective memory. This is the man she spent five years with. Y'all had sex, right? Yeah. Right, so he was all up inside your body. Mm -hmm. But when you were leaving him, you didn't even give him the dignity of say, thank you for spending five years with me. You didn't we're sit him down. He's, he's probably a sucker. No, if, because because he was in your car. I, I let me tell you something. Okay. Any man that would let you drive him to work, and he's going to the mall. Where were you working at? I was a flight attendant. Mm -hmm. Any man that would be in this position is already a beta. And if he's still your friend, he is damn sure a beta. When he left work, he should have blocked your ass, because that was cold. And I want you to understand: this woman is sitting here trying to make it seem like we don't hear what we hear, guys. And so when y'all in the comment section, she's cute and she's cute. I told you, you better watch these cute girls. Man, you said I'm making it sound like what? I asked you, how'd you do it? There's history, though. It's not like it just happened overnight. It was accumulating. There was things that he did. Of course it did. But, but man, man, is there a... Ma'am, would you want somebody to uh, end a relationship with your daughter that way? Regardless as to the history, a five-year relationship. Would you want somebody to be in the car knowing they got to go to work? There was no conversation to be had. He had to get the fuck out of the car. He had to move on. He had to be at work, ma'am. He, he had to be hit the clock in. And see, that's what I mean. This conflict avoiding cowardice shit. I said, when women are done with you, she knew, well, I'm, a, I'm not going to tell him the night before so we can talk about it. I'm going to wait till we're 10, 15 minutes away. Oh, well. About 10 minutes away. Oh, by the way, this ain't working no more. Thanks. It didn't go down like that. We, we started talking in the car, and then it came up, and it happened. Uh, it happened. It happened. That's why I have zero sympathy for these modern savages. Oh, God. I wish I was a savage. Uh-huh. Well, that doesn't really I've sound too. That, okay, of course they, no, they don't a think. Lot with this they, okay, ma'am. Of course, and then here and then here comes the. Well, you don't understand what I got to, ma'am. I don't have to. You did stuff. He did stuff. I did nothing. He did stuff. Bullshit. You're human.
where. You know what? Maybe you're not. She's right. She might not be. Because I want Why you guys so to understand. With me? Like, I'm not talking. I'm talking through you because you don't even know how fucked up this sounds to a man. Because you guys all seem to, the way he's always seen, it was him, not me. You were in a relationship five years. You did nothing wrong. It was all him, not me, such and so forth. And that's cool. This is, I want you ladies to understand that we as men, every time we meet one of you, it is always, almost 100% of you, your exes are pieces that are just not good. I have never, ever in my life met a woman who said it was me. Men, in the comment section when this video is over, how many men in the, met a woman who said, out of her mouth, first off the rip, I was the reason this is a problem. If that's the truth, write 362 in the comment section. If that, you had a woman that said, right out of her mouth, it was me, write 362. Man, I got no dog in this fight. I'm telling you what I hear. Is it hard to listen to? No, it's not. Um... So if a man, so if a man, so if a man start, if a man ask you how your relationship ends, because I'm gonna ask you a simple question: How do you think your ex experienced dating you? He, if if I if you asked him who said you for dating you was blank. It was uh, how how it was dating me. Um, interesting, I guess. I mean, I have my flaws. I'm a spo I'm spoiled. Um, well, but you, but five minutes ago you said you didn't do anything. But now I, you said it was just me. I didn't me. do anything to like. I didn't. I didn't do anything that was like. <gasps> she's. Uh, I don't know, cheating or she's. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so you never heard him. So you never heard him. You didn't hurt him at all, right? I don't think so. I oh, okay. Ask him. Okay. No, no. So you, in five years, you never heard him. He only hurt you. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, he he felt insecure. That's that's like his thing, you know. I don't think I gave him reasons to feel self-awareness mm -mm. well I think it's rather interesting that you say we all got our things but in five years you never heard him but he only heard you okay uh do you would you say you have uh healthy self-esteem me mm -hmm. no it flip-flops I could be in I can have low self-esteem at times mm -hmm. and then I could just in general, in general, would you say your self esteem is no average, above average, below average? I think I might be average. Okay. Uh, then in five years, somebody with average self esteem would not stay with somebody who's hurting them. Um, I was easily, um, I don't want to say manipulated. And it comes a victim shit again. No, it's not. You can't make this shit up. No. Ma'am, you're gonna be famous. You keep this up, you're gonna Man, be famous. You, you make you want you make me want to say the whole story because it's a fucked up story. Like, mm -hmm. but three sides to a story: yours, his, and the truth. I know, and and I, I don't. And I, ma'am, <laughs> yeah, 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 you also got, ma'am. I just asked you mm -hmm. how we got here. Is I asked you why you want to be married. What successful looks relationship look like? And then I asked you, how did your last, how long was your relationship and how it ended? I didn't, I didn't put us here. I'm just asking you. And this is what's going to happen on the dating market, especially if you want to date a man that's got any sense of value of, do you want children? You said I, you want kids. How many kids do you want? Probably four. 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 Um, do you want your kids to be able to go to college if they want to? Yes. You, uh, you want to be able to travel nationally, uh, and domestically and internationally with your family? I do. Okay. Um, do you want to, after you're married, do you want to have to work to pay significant bills when you're pregnant? Um, I love my job. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills when you're pregnant, married? No. 
I want. Okay. I want what percentage of the overall family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Meaning it doesn't vary. You must pay this for a lifetime for four children, you and your husband. What percentage of overall family financial load? That's a good question. Um, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say like 20 to 30 percent. 30% means if you start working for any reason, the family's in serious financial jeopardy almost immediately. Really? You cannot, ma'am, could you survive a 30% pay cut at your current standard of living? Then thank you. All right. So 20 to 30%, you're in serious jeopardy. So what about two kids? No, 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 no. We are, we, no, no, no. I asked you what percentage of our, our family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for? That's the question that's on the table. Okay. What percentage? I just don't know. No, 30? So if you stop working, the family's at risk. But... Um, if you stop working, the family's at risk. Okay. Man, it's so it's what? mad. It it's mad. I asked you. No, I'm asking you. Well, if you it goes higher... It, well, yeah. If, and this is about mad. If it goes higher, there's more risk if you stop. See, right now, if you never get married... What percentage of your family of your financial load are you going to have to be responsible for for 100%. a lifetime? Right, so you got that. That's a simple concept. So if you're married with kids, four kids, how much? What percentage of that do you want to have to be responsible for? More than thirty, that means you're going to be more responsible. But you'll be responsible for less than thirty. That means your husband oh. will be more responsible. I don't want to put all the burden on him, but I guess like twenty percent, ten percent, zero percent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what kind of what kind of income do you think you're going to need to live in Brooklyn or or, or New York City? Um, I don't. I don't want to stay here. I want to get out of New York. Where do you want to live? I don't know. Somewhere in the south on a farm, I guess. Have you ever lived outside of New York City? Yes, I have. Where? I lived in Farmington, Connecticut. I lived in Albany, Binghamton, and Fort Lauderdale. Uh huh. How much money? How much money is your husband? How much family income are you going to need to have on an annual basis to support four kids? I never did you that. And your husband. I don't have kids, and I'm not see, that's the problem. Well, see, that's the fucking problem now, ain't it? So if you're gonna have this flippant attitude, ma'am, I'm I'm gonna do my do me a favor, okay? I'm gonna give you about a couple. So you I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a few sec. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to to kind of ramp it down because you don't want to go there. I'm having a conversation with you. I'm trying to show you something trying to learn okay well then you said you never thought about it so it's time to think about it because you okay. said this is what you want okay so i'm asking about how much money do you think you're going to need to uh, as a family annually to support four kids you your husband and the kind of lifestyle you want that you would envision for yourself um for me to bring in no, 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 no. Just family? your husband. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. My husband. Just overall, all together, four kids, you and your husband. I'm not good with money, so it's like two hundred thousand. How much? Did you, look, you said you had an associates. You yeah. live in Brooklyn. How much is your rent right now? It's a lot. How much is your rent right now? Uh, twenty-three. Twenty three hundred, so that's roughly almost three thirty thousand dollars a year. Uh, that's for one person in the in a sugar shack in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. So if you had two people, if you just multiply rent, that's forty six hundred. So that's sixty thousand right there, just in two apartments. You're gonna put four kids in that. They're gonna need substantially more than two hundred thousand dollars. Need more than that. Yeah. See, that's why I need a husband so he can know. All yeah, but how much? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But how much is your husband going to have to make? Because you're only supporting about 10% of these. How much is he going to need to make annually to have four kids that can go to college if you want to, that can travel nationally or internationally? He has to be a millionaire. Damn near. Okay. See, damn. Mm -hmm. so because see, see, this is a funny thing. They don't think about the numbers because women in places that they don't want to admit, they don't expect to pay. They think because they have a vagina, that balance is a million dollars. Well, can I? Go ahead. I said women. I didn't say you. I know. Women. Well, because what I vision was like, my job will go into like things like 
So he'll pay like the basic bill. What is, your your associates is in what? Is in theater. A bullshit degree. So yeah. your job ain't gonna pay nothing. See, the, I'm number going one, to pilot school. Un unmarriable. The actress, the creatives, the unmarriables. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going but, to pilot because, but no, so but no wanted... it doesn't matter. You don't. Want, it doesn't matter what you make. You don't want to contribute more than ten percent to the family. No, I mean, like, I want my. So my at job the end of the day, at the, the end of the day, ma'am, four children. Okay. Four children. What job are you going to have? Who's going to be raising these four kids? You can't have a job and four kids and not a substantial job. So to have you want you want your children, upper class children, are roughly four hundred eighty five thousand, five hundred thousand. You want two million dollars worth of kids. If you live in Connecticut, hell, if you lived in uh, Atlanta, it will run you about three hundred and fifty thousand. So with another kid, you're talking about four hundred thousand. You're talking about New York City, about eight fifty. What kind of professions would a man need to make? What kind of profession would a man need to have to earn? three quarters of a million dollars or more legally? These are all reasonable questions. Is it like a doctor, lawyers? What kind of doctor? Surgeons, heart surgeons probably. Cardiac surgeons, okay, go ahead. Um, I don't, like, I don't know. I know I'm going, what I'm going to school for, so, but. Ma'am? That's fine, but if if you want to have this man sometime, don't you think you need to be able to identify it? Don't you think you might I, need to be man? I'm sorry, you cut off. Don't you think you might need to be able to kind of identify who this man is and what he does to kind of ID that's important. Yeah. So a cardiac surgeon, what else? I said a lawyer. Is a lawyer? What kind of lawyer? attorney? What kind of no attorneys? What kind of attorneys? Criminal and a criminal? I don't know. I never looked in. Like, this is, these are good questions. But you're now, now just for memory's sake, you'll be 29 and when? Uh, in two months. So you're almost 30 years old. Uh -huh. And from a standpoint of thinking about a spouse for the life you said you want because you've always wanted to be a wife and family and all these things because. The story, the things you said, as far as serious thought, you put in this on this conversation, nothing. So you just expect it to happen? You've done no planning. So it's like going to college and just taking a bunch of courses and then expecting to become an engineer or anything. It doesn't match. Can a man go through life like this and get the outcomes you're talking about, meaning he wants a wife and four kids? Because he has to pay for it. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, can a man go through life like this? No. Okay. I don't so. think anyone can because obviously it's not working for Well, me. women can. Women can. Women, honestly, obviously women can because just like you and the previous woman, most women think this is just going to happen. Because you're good people. But I never thought I I never thought you had to plan to meet someone. You know what I'm saying? Like. So again, it's just supposed to happen. You're supposed to happen to meet a man who can afford for you to be a stay-at-home wife with a possible side business. It doesn't matter, man. At the end of the day. You only want to pay 10% of the bills. So it doesn't matter. If you are a stay-at-home millionaire, you don't want to pay any bills. He has to pay for the lifestyle. College. You want your kids to go to college. That means that man has to have No, he doesn't lifestyle. have to pay for the kids' college by himself. I was talking about, like, bills, like the house. How are you going to pay for college if you can't even pay part of the... If you, if you want to pay 10%. How are you going to pay for college? In the kids' stuff. Me? I, thought you were, I thought you were only talking about like home. That is the, that stuff. is the, man, the kids are part of the expenses. And see what I'm trying to explain is this is okay, simple. Okay, I didn't get that. Oh, but, but you should apologies. though. This is, but this is simple family planning. Okay. You don't have children. They are an expense. Mm -hmm. You said you want the kids to go to college. 
were you expecting your kids to take out substantial student loans or did you expect no, I for the mother? Do, and then how are you going to pay for their college if you're only paying 10 to 20% of anything? 20% of anything, 20% of their mortgage, light bill, phone bill, trips, 10% of anything. That's all you want to be responsible for. So that means at best you'd be paying for 10% of the school. That's books. So basically you're talking about you want a man who is in, what percentage of men earn $100,000 or more in this country? Don't know. Yes. 15. 10. Oh, of course. You care if he's black or not? No. Uh, the more money a man makes, the more racially loyal he tends to be. What percentage of black men uh, earn $500,000 or more in this country? Three. One tenth of a percent. What? And then what do these kind of men who make this kind of money, who are cardiac surgeons, personal injury attorneys, high level financiers, and, you know, high level and companies and organizations. Oh, by the way, what's the oldest man you would consider dating? You're 28. What's your upper limit? Um, 30. Men hit, their financial earn, finan men hit their financial stride during 45 to 55. So for class, oh. so everybody understands. This is yet another woman. And this is what you guys have been taught, that you should find a young, rich man that you're attractive to that wants to have a housewife, even though you weren't raised to be a housewife, so you can stay at home and be a luxury housewife. Do you want to have a housekeeper? You expect that you don't, you don't expect to have a housekeeper? You want to be, the kids are going to be I homeschooled? Well, School, the kids are going to be homeschooled or not? That I did want. want home, home I do you want to make, you don't want a housekeeper. You want, to, you want somebody to help you with prepare meals, chef, personal like training? Okay. So, again, this is why men under 30 aren't even, that's why all they're trying to do is Netflix and chill. Because every man in your age range is making, if you're making 70,000, you're in the top 15%. And you're 28, about to be 29 years old, talk about 35, and you told me at best two professions. And you, okay. you don't even get out of medical school by until 30. Do you, do you mind, do you expect to share your husband with other women? No. Okay. You, so you want him to be uh, sexually loyal? Yeah. Is that impossible? Mm. So you expect to have a young millionaire who is who is earning and doing roughly twenty times what the, ten to twenty times what the average man is doing? Well, actually, twice ten, seven hundred thousand. He's doing roughly fifteen times what the average man is doing. But he doesn't get 15 women. See, what I'm trying to let you guys understand, just on the math. So wait, why does he... All you ladies... Because, ma'am, here's a... Th I, I just asked you. I just Sorry, asked you. Why, I just asked you, why, why, why does he... Uh, where in history have men who are rulers, who are in the top 10% of men, ever just had one woman? That is a white American thing, but never. They all have like seven wives, but. Ma'am, you just made a you just made a complete ass of yourself. <laughs> but it's possible to have one woman. She said this is a white American thing. It's possible to have one woman. Ma'am, do you understand how ignorant that statement was? It it is like that's something that was brought to America to like be monogamous and stuff, or is it like a religious thing? So being monogamous is a white American thing, or having multiple women is a white American thing. Oh, I don't know. Is it? I'm asking you. You said it. What were you referring to? I don't know. I want you guys to understand how rude. 
these people are. Look at this. This is the modern woman on display. And th she doesn't even realize that she's just making herself look like a complete oh. asshole. I think. What? So, you I belong don't. to the streets. I don't, but bye. Oh, yes, you, yes, you do. I don't. You can say, ma'am, you, you're going to be all over the place because you just made yourself look like a fool. How? You're having a conversation with somebody. You pick up a phone, start texting, start, and this is what you are when, when the shit gets, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, ma'am, it doesn't matter. You're still having a conversation. You didn't answer the question. And this is what I want you to understand. This, this is why so many women who share your reflection in particular are by yourselves because you, when hit with the facts and the truths, you guys just shut I'm down. I'm listening and I'm taking No, you're, but you're not responding. I, I asked you the question. You said this is a white American thing. What's a white American thing? Bringing in monogamous stuff, like, is that is it monogamous to be is it monogam is it white American to be, woman? Is it is that what you're referring to? Yes. Because when I said, where in the world have men who have power and resources have been royalty? When have they ever just been faithful? And you said that's a white American thing. You didn't clarify. So you're saying white men brought in monogamy through religion? Did they not? I'm asking you. Well, that's I not. didn't say it. Because everywhere else, they had multiple wives. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So for those who are keeping score at home, what do the kind of men you want want from a woman? Me? From a woman, period. Oh, from a woman? Now, what, uh, are these, what are these elite level men want from a woman? Men who are in extremely that's, high that's demand. Elite men, but probably... Uh, loyalty. Um, they want. I don't know. A partner. I. This is why I'm here to learn because I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like. They want cooperation and agreeableness. I didn't oh, want to say that. Sounds too much but, like but, a servant. I was gonna. Well, I, I well, man. Guess. Something. Guess what? Guess what? Mm. You, you can't make this shit up. They want the outcomes, but they don't want to do the job. I never said I wouldn't mind doing the job. Uh -uh, it sounds too much like a servant. Yeah, I didn't want, want to disrespect. But, but yeah, you want, but you want, an, but you want, but you want an elite level king ruler type man. So guys, understand they want women like women. They they want it all. Then they want you to be a loyal, and, and then you still got to be sexually. She has to be sexually attracted to him, like him, and everything else, ma'am. Have you ever dated a man who is question. earning $200,000 or more? No, I have a question though. Go ahead. Okay. So if a woman wants the, the loyalty and just one woman, want whatever, whatever, the man also expects that, correct? Say again. So you said that the women only want, the women want like loyalty, a king, this, that, and all of that. Everything that you said that a woman wants. No, I said that's what you want, but a lot of women want that. Yeah. No, I want just a family. But no, no, ma'am. Do you think what you just described was just a family? Yeah, but you was asking mad questions, like making it. Oh, can you afford this and this and that? I was asking I mad know, questions. No, 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 no. And, and to be happy and loved, like I think a lot. You of know what? Want that. I, I, you can't make it up. She thinks this is just a family. Uh, uh, four kids is just a family. To be able to pay for college, did your family pay for your college? Yes. And you have no siblings. Did, your did you travel nationally and internationally with your family? Yes. But you have no siblings? Yes, correct. And, I'm out, and so what's on display here is modern woman, only child syndrome, and cute privilege. And it's all coming together in a terrible mixture. Mm -hmm. See, this little sassy attitude that she's usually able to get away from, people let her slide with this shit in her life. Yet. Oh, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. And, yeah, you do. It's on, ma'am, it's there. If I'm wrong, let the comment section determine it. But here's the thing. Gentlemen, they, 35, seven years older. I'm asking you a question for the men. Your degree, you your, your got a theater degree, right? All right. Could you marry an average man? The average man in this country, black man, earns around 41000 The average white man, roughly 50000 So let's just say, split the difference, $47,000 a year. Could you marry an average man? 
an average yeah, earning man. Right no, now. but the average earning man, he's not going to earn anymore. That's he's going to earn average. Could you could you marry him? I would have to make a lot of adjustments. So why? Yes, there's love. Well, you, you'd have because to make a lot I'm of. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Me, stop, 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 stop. Do you make over sixty thousand dollars a year? Not yet. No, I haven't kept. No, you you don't. You don't. So you don't earn. You earn over fifty thousand dollars a year. I haven't. You want me Do to you earn it? over fifty thousand dollars? So so you would have to I make a know. lot of. You would have to make a lot of adjustments to your expectations. But let's be hmm. honest. At this point, you can't afford the lifestyle you want. Not with a family. No. No. So, could you marry an average man? And the answer was a tepid no. And then, could you marry an average man and then have four kids with him? No, but I can marry one and have two or one, probably one kid. Uh, one, one kid? Oh, so, okay. But even one kid is still almost $280,000 a year. Damn, we're going to have to put a lot of work. Now, see, the thing is, men already expect to do work. That's why I said modern women, modern women, this has been a perfect demonstration of your women's expectations are astronomical. And you said you didn't want to say something about being agreeable or cooperative because you didn't want to offend women or something like that. Did I get that right? Yeah, because women are so sensitive nowadays. Yeah, but, so you, are... but you didn't have, but you don't have any problem offending average men because you just basically told average, average men. Men? Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, you did. Saying that, oh, no, if you got all this, if you got this kind of money, you can get it, but that's okay. You can't make this shit up. You can't make it up, baby. She belongs to the streets. Gentlemen, what did I say on Monday? You better start vetting these women, asking them about their previous relationships. And when you hear what she did with her ex, for whatever reason, bounce. I took that bullet so you don't have to. Did you think it was going to get better the further we went down the rabbit hole? Almost 29 years old, I haven't thought one shit about what, how all this is gonna cost, but I'm just got a theater degree and I'm, I'm cute, and I shouldn't have to think about it. And then the man who has to think about his life and plan it and everything else has to live life on purpose. And then a woman like that, just go, living life by the seat of your pants, thinks that a man should have to all of a sudden, well, I got all these options out here. All these other women want me. But I should just have to go out and focus on you and, and deal with you. And what's he going to get? Does that, what is she going to deliver? You're going to incubate four kids, teach them, but he has to put you in a luxury lifestyle. And is anybody, do, do you ladies, where in the world do y'all think this is even close to being a fair deal? That's why the guys are just like, and the funny thing is, they honestly think that they're not doing, it's like, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm nice. That woman probably really thinks she's, that's a nice and it's no big deal. Because she didn't want to say, oh, you know, cooperative and agreeable. I don't want to offend the women. Okay. Could you marry an average man? I'd have to make some serious adjustments. Uh, to the average man, was that offensive to you? Because it offended the shit out of me for you. You'd have to make some serious adjustments. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you afford that right now? Oh, no, I'm broke as shit. I don't make $50,000 a year and my rent is $2,300. My rent is $2,300 and you don't make $50,000 a year. Hmm. $2,300. And that's, that's without parking if she does have parking. $2,300. Everybody keep mad. Her rent is $27,600. She don't even make $50,000 a year. That's how much she has left. And 
And that's before taxes. Some of she has left per month. We haven't paid utilities, groceries, nothing. So you wonder why average men are saying, forget marriage. Because the women that are at their socioeconomic level with her theater degree is because of the potential I could do. It's possible I could do. And think about it. I, my husband's not going to have to pay for college. I could do it. Okay. And the funny thing is, streets, gentlemen, don't argue with women like that. We can have a conversation. Don't argue with folks like that. What's going on? What's going on? What is going on, man? Nieces and nephews, kin folks and cousins. What's up? Your godfather's back in the house. And the house is, of course, packed. Um, I'll be in Oklahoma City for a few days. And I only have a quick minute. I may jump on a little uh, live, probably maybe midnight Oklahoma City time. That'll be, that'll be late. So, you know, if I decide to jump on tonight, uh, notifications. But I'm going to say one thing. It says leader loops. And I'm listening to, and I'm going to be honest, uh, far too many of us, black men in particular, and I, and I was number one in this line. Growing up, shirking the masculine burden of leadership, wanting to come home to a woman that's working 50 50 as hard as I am, and needing her to motivate and drive me and all this other shit. And that's a joke. Other groups of men laugh at us because we are so damn romantic-minded and so partner-minded. And this is why I believe, rightfully so, so many of our women have a hard time looking at us with respect because we keep telling them that we are the men we need to be because they motivate us. No, they can inspire you, but motivation needs to be you. Some of the shit I hear men talking about cannot line up with your masculinity, your killer instinct, or your balls. And I will tell you, when I thought like that, I was the weak beta male version of myself. When I thought like that, I was always in a power deficit in a relationship because I was pedestalizing my woman, thinking I'm being a good man. A good man is a man who knows he can lead. And either you lead, either you lead or you get out the way. You lead or you get out the way. Because putting that kind of pressure on a woman's shoulders not good. And we almost think it's some sort of virtue. Like, I wouldn't hold my woman back out. I wouldn't let her do this. I wouldn't let them like motivation and mask motivation and building and goals and stuff like that does not come standard on the female model. That's not what's standard on females. So I'm gonna say this right now. Men, black men, please. Stop thinking because you want to be a man that that makes you toxic. Because we're the only group of men who think like this in mass and think because we want to stand on our masculine square that all of a sudden that makes us misogynistic or toxic. Well, part of the reason why we need to step up from being at the bottom. And I would tell you, I was there. And I have to remind myself this over and over and over again because I wasn't raised to think like this. So I'm not trying to act like I'm better than anybody. But it's just fundamentally wrong. It don't even sound right to your manly spirit to hear men saying no shit like this. Leave that Luther Vandross, Mink Edition, uh, Babyface, and Joe shit for the bedroom. Get your man shit on out here in the real world. Peace. I'm going to be honest with the ladies. I don't begrudge you for what you want. I really don't. Yeah. So I, I don't begrudge you for what you want. I just ask, can you get it? I don't begrudge you for what you want. I just ask you, can you get it? And that, that woman came through. I want a white man. <laughs> the question is, do they want you? I'm going to tell you something. I have so many white clients who watch these broadcasts and a lot of white guys are just pissed. They're like, who do these women think we are? A lot of white guys get pissed when they hear this shit from y'all. I'm going to be honest. 
And they even start making videos. Stop pedestalizing me because I'm white. You even see videos now where white guys are like, you just, what are you, all you got is pussy to bring to the table. And if you want to see something funny, see a woman who turns around and, and black men and say, I want a white man, and then watch her get checked by a white man. It's just like the, the uh, Bruce Banner walking away in the Incredible Hulk. Dead ass. They're like, you act like Brad ain't our friend. Brad's like, fuck, I want to deal with that for. Keith ain't good enough for you, but I'm supposed to be better. Keith make more, and I, I get my advice from Keith. Keith, teach, Keith is my dude. You ain't going to split men up like that, acting like, well, white man is better. You just fucked up. Now, she didn't say I wanted a white man who's this. I just want a white man as if the... And then they had the nerve to talk about, I hate black women. But you got black women like that openly coming in saying, I want a white man. Uh, yeah. Brad will bust them cheeks. He'll glaze them cakes. He'll damn sure. He will do all that. And then when it's time to go make his babies, he going to go straight over to Jennifer. He's going to go straight over to Jennifer. Thank you very much. Boom, boom, boom. Pass on that DNA. See, a lot of you fools got it twisted. This scandal-ass lifestyle. I want painful this, that, such, and so forth. Kerry Washington and Stanley wasn't nothing but the president's hoe. She was a live-in hoe in Chanel. And y'all got her as some kind of, ooh, look, she's a fashion icon, this and that. Jezebel, home-wrecking hoe. Straight from Brad. Brad, in the comment section, Brad. In the comment section, Brad, hit him up. Brad, hit him up in the comment section. Brad going to be in the comment section lighting y'all's ass up. Thinking they running over to Brad, Brad like, who is John B? I don't know who John B is. What? You want me to get a fade? What? I like unsweet and iced tea. What are you talking about? I drink grape juice. We eat vegetables. Are you fetishizing me, Keisha? Someone going to play Yahtzee. You have you know how to play Dungeons and Dragons? How about chess? Warcraft? Are you a Pokemon or are you a Yu-Gi-Oh? Magic the Gathering? <laughs> oh, you, you played Magic the Gathering? Okay. Did you have the Black Lotus deck? I can't say black. Oh, now you're trying to get offended? <laughs> Would it have been better if I said White Lotus? Is that what I'm supposed to play? The White Lotus deck? You played the Black Lotus deck? Fuck out of here. Y'all don't even realize how, how crazy y'all sound. How crazy they sound. They really run back acting like they did something. Girl, I went out and tried a little something different. Uh-huh. Yeah, I went out with this guy. Uh-huh. Right. And we had some of the most fun. And he, uh-huh. Right. Right. Uh-huh. Don't even know. Be like, what happened? Man. Eh. She was all right, man, but she just talked too much. What? She talked too much. She always just want to, she wants to take me to some hookah place. And she wanted to eat some fried catfish. I like bass. <laughs> Get her, Brad. Get, glaze them cakes, Brad. Glaze them cakes. And on your way out the door, hit the button. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Then holler at Jerome, then, then uh, holler at uh, Tyrone on the way out. T, what up, dog? We running, we running, we running tomorrow? Cool. What happened? Man, I just got rid of okay shit. What happened, man? One strike, two strike, three strikes, you out, dude. Let's go, man. Hookah's on you, right? Mm hmm Go get you a white man. <laughs> Let's see if you can keep him. <laughs> Let's see if you can keep him. We judging wedding rings. Not in rings around your neck or your ankles. Wedding rings. And then let's see if you can get one of those top 10% guys. Because those guys, 
I don't care if Jennifer, Jennifer uh, J Lo and Ben Affleck are together right now. Go back to the nineties when there was Jennifer back then. I said it back then. Ben Affleck gonna dump J Lo. J Lo uh, got got rid of Diddy to get with Ben. Ben glazed them cakes, dusted off Jenny from the block, and then when she thought she was gonna get married, he's like, "What? <laughs> I'm white. I'm from Boston. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, 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 no. I just played Daredevil. My buddy Matt. That would never do. Hey, Jennifer Garner. Yeah, my co-star in Daredevil. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. Well, we're gonna get married and have some babies, and then after we do the whole, you know, the Boston thing when our kids are of age." Then we can come back and dance in the Super Bowl. We can dance in the skybox of the Super Bowl. We can do that in about 20 years, but I need to go make some kids look like me. <laughs> oh, she said it. I want me a white man. Shout out to my white dudes. My white dudes are laughing their ass off. They're like, please. They're like, what the hell I'm going to do with that? What the hell I'm going to do with that? Peace. Addicted to the good life